Good morning, ESM. I'm Luke. And I'm John. And we'll get right back to you after news. On Wednesday night, the House of Representatives passed a bill to establish an independent commission to investigate the U.S. Capitol riots from January 6th. The vote passed 252 to 175, with 35 of the passing votes being Republican, showing a break from both the leadership in the House and former President Trump, who urged Republicans to vote against the bill. The bill is now moving to the Senate, where it is expected to receive significant GOP resistance. Senate Minority, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said on Wednesday that he was opposed to the bill, but would not say whether he would attempt to whip others to agree with him. The new Legoland theme park in New York has announced its opening preview days. Located in Goshen, the park will begin previews on May 29th, and annual passes are currently being sold on the Legoland New York website. Some opening previews include Bricktopia, Lego Ninjago World, and Lego City. Later this summer, the park is planning to open a water park along with a 250-room Lego-themed hotel. Today, Japanese journalist Yuki Kitazumi was freed from a Myanmar prison and said that police and military investigators asked him about his friends, clients, and made-up allegations. Kitazumi, a freelance journalist and former reporter, said inmates told him about the abuses they faced at the hands of authorities, including beating during non-stop, day-long interrogations. He was detained at Yangon's insane prison for a month before his release and was returned to Japan last week as a gesture of friendship toward Japan by the military junta. He was arrested while covering the aftermath of the military coup uh, of February 1st that ousted the elected government. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Support the class of 2024 with their DeBellas fundraiser Wednesday, May 19th through Sunday, May 23rd. 20% of your check will be donated to the class. In order to participate, you must order online using their website, order.debellas.com, and use the promo code ESM21, or 20, sorry. Guess the teacher and win Sweet Frog gift cards. Fill out the form in G-Wing Hall. Students with the most correct guesses will win a Sweet Frog gift card. All forms need to be turned into Miss Saya and G-9, the testing center. The afternoon wait room will be closed Friday, May 21st, today. See Coach Churchill with any questions. If you are interested in running for student council or class council, please pick up an inform information packet located in the large cafeteria or the library. These packets are also available digitally. Please reach out to Mr. Hart at rhart at esmschools.org through email or use Google Hangouts to request a digital version. Packets are due Thursday, May 27th. Early this morning, the sound of bombs bursting in Gaza City were replaced with the sound of celebratory gunfire as a fragile ceasefire between Israel and Hamas went into force, bringing an end to the, f to the fighting that claimed more than 200 lives. This truce that was mediated by Egypt began at 2 a.m. in Israel. However, tensions still remain high as past ceasefires between Israel and Hamas has proved fragile. So both sides were watching developments nervously. The underlying cause of the conflict still remain. The dispute over land rights in Jerusalem and the West Bank, religious tensions, and the absence of a peace process to resolve the conflict. And now on to weather. Today is going to be another hot day with a little more breeze and more humidity than yesterday, as well as a chance of a shower or storm later in the afternoon and evening. The high temps are going to be in the mid-80s to almost 90, and tonight is going to be mostly cloudy and mild with lows in the low 60s. Tomorrow will still be warm and humid with a chance of a few scattered showers or storms and highs in the low to mid-80s. Sunday is going to be breezy, warm, and muggy, once again with some showers or storms developing and highs in the low 80s. Monday looks like a mix of sun and clouds with not as warm temperatures and highs in the mid-70s. Tuesday and Wednesday look about the same with once again a breeze, warm, muggy temperatures and once again a chance of showers or storms and highs in the low 80s. Thursday is going to be milder with sun and highs near 70 on Alley Lady Weather.
dedicate $75,000 in COVID-19 relief funds to a mural celebrating four Syracuse basketball legends. Walsh, in a statement, said he didn't believe federal rules allowed for the American Rescue Plan Act money to be spent on a mural. I have expressed reservations about the process used to prioritize the project since it was first presented by members of the Common Council, Walsh said. In addition, upon reviewing the ARP interim guidance issued after the Council's budget vote, it appears unlikely the project is eligible under the federal guidelines. Councils will meet Monday for a voting session. The mural, as proposed, would feature four legendary local basketball players on a private building on East Onondaga Street. It was conceived by longtime Syracuse Jazz Fest executive director Frank Malfitano and would be painted by Jonas Never, an artist from Los Angeles. In addition to the stimulus money, Governor Andrew Cuomo included $100,000 for Syracuse Jazz Fest productions in the state budget. The mural spending has come under intense scrutiny in the last week. Representatives John Katko and Claudia Tenney both criticized the proposed use of the money. Katko last week says he supports the mural, but that spending stimulus dollars on it was, quote, irresponsible and misguided. Thursday morning, Fox News aired a segment interviewing Councillor Pat Hogan about the mural. Fox News anchor Bill Hemmer was critical of the spending, arguing it should be spent on infrastructure, essential workers, and vaccination distribution. Hogan said there are other plans to spend money on those items and that the, more, the mural represents a fraction of a percent of the $123 million the city will receive in relief money. Hogan has argued that the New Deal money was also used for public arts projects and that art enhances quality of life and has a positive return on investment for a community. By beating the Indiana Pacers on Thursday, the Washington Wizards advanced to the playoffs to face the Philadelphia 76ers as they won 142 to 115, as Westbrook and Beal combined 43 points in last night's victory. In upcoming games, the tennis team has a match against Portland, the wrestling team has a match against Syracuse City, the softball team has a game at Central Square, and the baseball team has a game at JD Home. I'm Isabel Your Sports. And for me, me, and everyone here at the morning show, have, have a, a great day. day.